and I do nothing crazy Cause not me really needs you And I would never leave you Cause I am in the stars Good guys, welcome back to your girl Ana. For my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing to my channel so much. It means so much to me. Um, I'm just gonna tell you a little something because I did gain like a lot of subscribers from my last video. Um, my name is Rihanna. I do go by the name Nay, and so yeah, welcome to my channel. And I hope you guys will continue to watch more of my videos. Um, so by by the title, you guys already know what I'm doing. I am doing my pregnancy Q&A video. Um, a lot of you guys have really asked a lot of questions on my Twitter, on my Snapchat, and on my Instagram. So I decided to go ahead and do a Q&A video on my pregnancy. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and go to this video. So the first question is, what are you having? Um, I am having a baby girl. I did do a general mini little um, video, so if you guys have watched that video, you guys already know that I am having a baby girl. Question number two, when is your due date? Um, my due date is in August. My baby girl will be here supposedly August 14th, but I am planning on trying to have her in July because I have a family trip in August and I do want her to be here so she can see her, well, so my family can see her. So. I'm trying to get her to be here like middle middle July end of you know but we're gonna see number three are you ready to be a mom um I always really I always wanted to have my baby at the age of 25 I am 25 so I can say I did reach the age limit that I wanted to have my first child and um I am ready to be a mom, but at the same time, I am really nervous to be a mom. So, but I, I just can't wait till my baby girl get here because when she be moving in my stomach, I just be like so excited. Like, I just can't wait to hold her and just squat her. So, yes, I am ready to be a mom. The next question is, was you scared when you found out you was pregnant? Um... I don't think I was scared. I think I was just nervous. If you watch my, um, how I told my parents video... When I said I broke down and cried, I literally broke down and cried. So, like, I was nervous. I didn't know what my mama was going to say. Even though I am an adult, I am at 25, so my mind really didn't have a say-so. But at the same time, I'm still young. Like, I'm still in my early 20s. So, it was just like, yeah, but I was, I was just nervous. I don't think I was scared. And my next question is, how did you know you was pregnant? Um, I wanted to do a video about this, how I didn't know I was pregnant. Um, I didn't have any morning, morning sickness, so that's how I really didn't know. Only thing I had was my missed period, and I really wasn't noticing it. Like, I noticed it, but I really wasn't tripping off of it because my periods were irregular. My periods wasn't regular periods, so that's why I didn't know until I actually took the pregnancy test. Next question is, is your baby father going to be there? Um, let's just say, I don't know. Um, he don't really talk to me, really. Um, he knows that I'm pregnant. He knows that he's going to have a baby girl in August. Um, I can't say he's going to be there. I can't say he's not. But at the same time, I know that... I have to be strong for my baby girl and I know that I always wanted my daughter to have that relationship with her father because I didn't have the relationship with my father but at the same time it's just like I don't know like I really don't know if he's going to be there he's not I told him like hey like I know in another year I'm going to be moving out of Florida I'm going to be relocating so I don't know, but at the same time, I'm not going to really worry about it because I have a good support system and I know what I have to do. I know my responsibilities. And um, my cousin told me this quote because I remember texting her. My cousin has kids and like I go to her when I'm feeling down. And she told me this quote, mama's baby, daddy's baby. And that quote just sticks to me all the time. So I just know that. This is my responsibility. This is my baby. I know what I got to do. Be that mother and father to my daughter. So, yeah. This question is, what are your goals with the baby now? Uh, well, 
my baby's not here until like August, but my goals now is, um, I just want to be that great. I want to say, I don't want to be, I mean, everybody's not perfect, but I want to be that mom that she can come to and tell everything to like, I, um, uh, when I was growing up, I always went to my mom through to certain situations. I want to be like that. Also, my goal is to just make sure that she's going to be okay. Like, um, just because I know being a single mom is going to be hard, but you got to sometimes you got to do what you got to do because once you have a baby, it's not like you can go to the club or you can go to parties and stuff. It's either you're going to take her to the baby or you're not going to take her to the baby. So I just want to be there for my baby. I just want to be strong and independent for my baby. I don't want to depend yeah. that my baby is going to be straight and don't need or want for anything when she get older. Did you want a girl or a boy? I wanted a little, okay. When I was little, I, when we, you know, when you get to age and you want kids, I always wanted a baby boy because I love seeing mothers and son relationships. It's just so, so cute to me. But growing up living in a house with five brothers and you kind of like the only girl living in the house, I was like, no, I have to have a girl. We need another girl in this house. And I have to have a girl because living with my brothers right now is like crazy. And then it's like when I found out I would have a girl, I was so excited. Like, I was just like, yes, we finally got a little girl in this family because it was overdue where we needed a girl in this family. What is your daughter's name? So this is her name, guys. Her name is going to be Aviana Amani Sanders. That is her name. Are taking your last name or her father's last name? Um, As you can tell, she's going to take my last name. Um... I have talked to her dad and asked him, like, do you want to do both last name, his last name and my last name? And he didn't really, like, give me an answer. And then I know when we was talking about my, talking about the baby name, he kind of got, like, a little upset. So I was just like, hey, like, I'm trying to help, trying to put you in this. If you're going to be here, you're going to be here. But so I was just like, I was just really mad at him at the time. So we decided to give my daughter my last name. So my daughter is going to have my last name, but he's question is, are you going to quit school while pregnant? Um, I guess you mean like now I'm still in school. I'm not doing to August. Um, when I do my maternity leave, I can't work. So, but that being that my mom and my dad and my little brothers are going to be here, since I do go to school at night, they can't really watch her at night while I go to school. So that's like, so I'm not going to quit school that way I can graduate on time, you know? But yeah, so I'm not going to quit school. I'm still going to be in school so I can get my degree. How does it feel? I guess you mean, how does it feel me being pregnant? Um... It feels like, I guess, after a while, you get over all the, once you get over all the symptoms and all that, you feel great. Like, you, it's just, it feels so good, beautiful, that you got a human being growing inside you. You got a human being that's going to look up to you. Um, I just feel great. Like, I'm so excited because at the time, I didn't really think that I could get pregnant. So... I'm just happy like it feel beautiful that I have a baby girl growing inside of me and I really can't wait till she get here what is the best products to use um I don't really know because I am a first-time mom but I guess I can do like when she get here I guess I can do a video of the products that I use that helps her but um I really don't know. I really can't answer that question because I am a first time mom. So I guess this have to be a separate video and when she gets here and the products that I do buy and that I do use for her. So just stay tuned for that video for that person who asked that question. Are you breastfeeding or formula feeding? Um, I did want to try breastfeeding, but I feel like it's going to be weird latching my baby onto my breast. But I am going to do formula feeding because when I go to school at night, even though I can pump before I go to school, um, I just feel like it's going to be easier to do formula feeding while if she's 
at home with my mom or she's at home with her grandpa or her grandma or her uncles, they can make up her bottle instead of waiting for me to get home to breastfeed. So I'm going to do formula. And the last question, guys, is do you have any advice for those who are expecting? Um, all I just want to say, if you're a single mom or if you're a mom that's having trouble with your boyfriend or if you together, no matter the situation, you have to grow up. Um, all I want to say is stay positive. Don't give up because at the end of the day, you do have somebody who's going to be looking up to you. Um, I can really only speak for a single mom because I am single. I know it's hard. It's going to be hard because I literally um, probably cried almost every night um, because my daughter's father wasn't really talking to me and I wanted him to be there and help me out and you know. But I just want to say no matter what you're going through, just stay positive. Um, don't give up. Um, what else? Like I said, the quote before, mama's baby daddy's maybe like if you really think about it you can um i'm basically going to say what it means basically what it really saying is that this is your baby and that is sometimes it, it might be that father's maybe like being a single mom it's gonna be hard so basically you want to have your baby 24 7 and the daddy's not really going to be there so i just want to say don't give up um if you feel like you need to talk to somebody you can always email me or follow me on my instagram or my snapchat and just talk to me because i'm always here like i know what you're going through because i am going to be a single mom and don't get me wrong it's going to be hard but at the same time i kind of do have like that support system that i can go to and talk to when i am feeling down so i want to be that person for you expect the moms on my channel i want to be that um person that you can come to and talk to when when things are going down so that's it guys thank you for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe down below if you haven't followed me on any of my social media account please Check the description box and follow me on my accounts. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye. You say that I better not do nothing crazy, cause not me really.